Good morning. Nothing says the sun's shining and we're all coming back to work together better than reopening the summer barbecue area. You may say I'm a noggin, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the noggins will be as one. Well, the time lapse got absolutely sick of watching noggins and cut out, but they're all in. And with this floor now complete, that means that two of the three sides of the chateau are now completely floored, which leaves, well, arguably one of the tallest and worst to last. And now this side is going to be a lot more complicated. Not only have we got one extra floor compared to all the other levels, also, the spacing of the beams is a bit more erratic. I think, I suspect, the original staircase at one point was here. So it's got to be redesigned in a way that we can't just put the steel back the same as we could the other sides. We're going to have to be a bit more creative.
on the newly flattened bit of driveway. We've got a mixing site now set up. We're gonna get a load of gravel and sand dumped there and the water bowser is just behind. And this bowser can be towed by the tractor down to the swimming pool. You wouldn't believe, but weirdly just all of a sudden started filling with water and is now almost nearly full. I don't know why that's happened. Yes, we've had a lot of rain, but we've had a lot of rain for the last year and it's never held a drop of water. All of a sudden, whoosh, it's come up, but that's not a bad thing. So now we've got an unlimited reservoir of water, which we can pump into the Bowser and take up there. Which brings us to the project we're doing over the next month. We're going to work on putting the floors in this side and it's quite a big deal because there's a lot more involved in it. We've got to re-clear out this whole ground floor again but it's not as bad as the first time. We've got to build a wall, we've got to reinstate the wall which we originally took down in here so we could clear it. Then we've got to put the steels above and then that gives us for the first time ever to be able to walk from the front of the chateau steps all the way through and out the back. There's a lot of processes involved as well as clearing off up there and actually inside there you will remember is a void I discovered which needs clearing out as well. Here's something I've just noticed. Well, now the basement's clear, I'm spending a bit of time just walking around, looking at different bits I haven't seen. I haven't dared really be in this bit yet because uh, there's a lot of stuff, but there's a bit of the basement you can't access. So, there's a door under the terrace, there's a door under the terrace. This bit here, I'm just thinking, So here are the two doors, and there's this little square. Now it's not big, but it must be hollow. This is creepy, okay. We'll see the bodies or treasure. God, I'm dying to have a look down there now. I've got to have a quick look. It looks like there's a lot of debris here, but... So it's going to be nowhere near as easy as all the other sides. It's going to be quite difficult, but we're going to get up as far as we can in the next month with all the team together, and you know how quick that goes. The aim of this whole thing, of course, is to time things better than we did last year. We don't want to be doing roofs in winter, so if by summer we can be at the top of all the levels ready to put roofs on in the nice summer sun, hello baby, then that's going to be a good thing. So for roofs in summer, we've got to get up there as quick as possible. This is the last bit that we've got to build up before we can just roof the whole thing. So I will see you for the start of this on Monday. <laughs>